Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to create a custom organ in the Grand Org software using a separate piece of software called Organ Builder Portable. So the way that you get started, well first you have to, once you've downloaded the software and you open it up, this is actually a pretty old piece of software, but when you first open it, it will take you to this screen and the way that you get started is you have to go to File and click on New Project. And you saw nothing nothing physically changed, but I just have to do that so I can make a new project. So, give it a name. How about Custom Organ Example? And the whole address, organ builder, and date is not, not required. Um, number of manuals, let's just have two. Has pedals, yes. Uh, stop families, just one. Um, spacing for layout, use defaults. And then actual panel size, automatic. Is what I, rec I, is what I would recommend for your um, first organ getting started. Um, and of course you can you can change the number of manuals. You can have three, four, five, ten thousand, like just go insane and make a church organ, but just for now we'll leave it at a default two manual medium sized organ. So once you've made this new project, give it a name and get all of this organized. Then you will go to these. So actually looking actually viewing the pedal it is in French. I will change it to English. Pedal and Grand Org. Once again, change it to just Great. And change this. We now have Great, Pedal, and Positive div divisions. And you can change the textures of how they look. Right now, I'm going to keep it as default with what it gave me. So once again, just a normal white keyboards going down. Um, for the pedal, 32 keys. First MIDI key is 36. Great, 61 keys. Positive, 61 keys. Uh, the pedal, I will give the great... No, I, I will give the great a tremulant. And I will give the positive a tremulant and an enclosure. And I will also give the great here. I will give the great a, let's see, up the octave coupler and the positive down the octave coupler. And why would it, no, we don't need a, a great to great coupler, don't need that. But yeah, basically just organizing all of my couplers and having whether or not I can couple both keyboards to each other and the pedal and everything. You can organize that however you'd like. Um... So once you've got the couplers, then you can go ahead and change what the textures look like here. So I can change change this draw stop knob to something is something like that. I can make the font smaller. I can even change the color if I want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Tremulance, once again, change it to that. Leave the color the same, or where it is, make the font smaller. Enclosures. I'm going to change it. I'm going to leave it to where it is, actually. Um, should I make a font smaller? Let's make the font smaller. And then font. This will be the, the fonts. This will be the main stop family, where you can actually pull the stop and sound plays. So, once again, that one. Make the font smaller. And, yeah. So, this is now the main page that we have here all fixed. All organized. So, wave samples. I have pedal, great, and positive. If I want to, for an example, so here's where you can actually, this page right here, wave samples, this is where you can actually um, create stops and add the audio in for them. So if I click on great, I click on create new stop, I can easily type in principal 8 foot, so I have now actually created the 8-foot principal stop. Now I have to scan file system, go to way in here where I keep my organ audio files. Here, I should probably actually go to 
the Berea Church sample set that I've already have already have downloaded. And HV Principle 8, there it is. I can, whoops, that ain't right. 56? Wait a minute. Oh, yes, it is right. Okay. I can go ahead and add that in there. So there is, and also make sure to put the harmonic number to 64. There is now audio for the 8-foot principle. And I will now put in the positif. I will create a new stop. I will put chimney flute four foot just like that once again going into my audio Berea Church sample set the chimney flute there's the audio for it 64 foot harmonic number and the positive chimney flute now has audio so my pedal stop I will put a trombone 16 foot I'm gonna go ahead and scan file system Go to Grand Org, Organs, whereabouts would I find a, or where would I find a 16 foot, the 16 foot trombone audio? I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Would it not be under T, perhaps? Trombone. That is odd, I am not seeing it. Um, wait, I think I actually, I just remembered a place where I can, it should be right here. Here we go. So there is my trombone quint, or no, no not trombone quint, my trombone, 16 foot trombone. So the pedal trombone now has audio. So time to go to the panel layout. This is where you can actually design the organ console, change the wood, and change the appearance. I'm gonna change it to, I click on it right here. I have all these different types of wood. I'm gonna change it to something like that. Kind of an oak wood, right? Change that to the same color and that. Um, but these, however, I might make these darker. Should I make these darker? Uh, yeah, I'll make them a bit darker. So there is my organ console. Just like that, all the wood that I've created here. That doesn't look right. What, in, what on earth? Should it be sideways? Yeah, this one to be sideways. Here we go. So there's that. Now, I can actually view the stop jam. I can put on the left. I will put my positive stops. I, so here's my, here's my chimney flute right here chimney flute and then I have some couplers 16 foot pedal 2 1 2 just like that so I'm going to go ahead and put under here and then also a tremulant that is on the left and then on the right I'll put my grate I'll put my principal my couplers and tremulant I can also put a label right here that says grate so when I actually open up the organ, there's going to be a label right there that actually indicates which, what stops these division, what, which division these stops are a part of. And then same thing for the left, I can put positive. And then in the center stop jam, I will put pedal, trombone, and couplers. And this may be a bit too wide. No, it's just, it's just right. Um, actually, I will put it like, no, I'm not, I'll put it like that. So, and then no pistons, trombone, principal, and chimney flute with this organ console. There's the audio, here's the organ structure, the actual name, and all the families and everything. So I can now click File, click Save Project As, and it should, I will put... Custom Organ Example, save, right? And then go to File again, hit Export Project for Grand Org, save. It'll export the project. If I go to my files, go to Organ, if I go to it, Custom Organ Example dot Organ, I can now open this. 
and if this has been created successfully, it says the, the wrong audio, but that's fine. I can actually go ahead and fix that right here. Audio MIDI, audio MIDI settings. So go to my audio output, create a new one, click on those, and give the audio channels. And there we go. So now I can go ahead and right click on the manual. The MIDI settings will pop up. Click Detect Complex MIDI Device and click on that. Press the lowest key and highest key of your MIDI keyboard. Listen for event and then touch a key. And now I have a functioning MIDI keyboard using that manual. And then do the same for the positive. Right click, detect, lowest note, highest note, and then listen. And there it is. And then same thing for the pedal. Right click, detect, lowest note, highest note, and then listen. So now there is all three of those functioning with one MIDI keyboard. So if I simply click on the 8-foot principle in the grate, click on that, I now have a functioning virtual organ right here that I made myself. I'm playing an 8-foot principle. And then the 4-foot chimney flute. Which is a bit quieter. And then in the pedal, a 16-foot trombone. And then full organ. So yeah, that is how you create your own, your a custom virtual organ using the Organ Builder Portable software. That is That was a rather brief walkthrough of how to do so. Um, I hope this helped. And you can also do this by, you can also create even more stops with even more audio um, as long as you have the audio in your files, like just sitting there waiting for you um, with any previous sample sets you have downloaded. Just borrow borrow the audio file from those. So yes, that is how you create your own virtual organ using this software. Hope that helped. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, bye.